The primary purpose of a dairy cow is to turn feed into milk. The more efficiently a cow completes this process, the better it is for a dairy producer's bottom line. Scientist John Cole is the acting research leader at USDA's Animal Genomics and Improvement Laboratory. He and others are working on a multi-year study to better understand and predict feed efficiency. Feed accounts for more than half the cost of production of a unit of milk, and so we need to have a better handle on this as well. We've known actually uh, for, for decades that there's variation among individual animals and in how much they eat when they're in lactation, but it's only been recently that we could collect information on a large scale. USDA is collaborating with several universities and the Council on Dairy Cattle Breeding to offer genomic evaluations for residual feed intake, RFI. The CDCB anticipates sire evaluations for cow feed efficiency will be released in the future. So genomics has, has taken it from the realm of strictly an idea into the world of something that's possible. The heritability of RFI is high, Cole explains. That means genetic progress could happen rapidly, with each generation more efficient than the last, producing more milk with less feed without sacrificing quality. The idea is that you can change the animal's intake without having an unwanted effect on the milk composition or the milk volume. The ultimate goal is to breed for a more efficient cow and improve profitability for the nation's dairy farmers. If we produce more feed efficient animals, that means we put fewer inputs into those animals and it's both the direct impact, so less corn, less soybean meal, less uh, forage, and it's also all of the associated externalities, right, the external cost. And, and in the broad picture, it lets us come to the consumer and say, we're producing safe and healthful food for you and your family, and we're doing it with a lower environmental impact than we've ever had before. For Holstein Association USA, I'm Miles Ramsey.